Minister of Australia, the Honourable Scott Morrison, and Mrs. Jenny Morrison. I would now like to invite return service nurse, Wing Commander Sharon Bowne, to provide a response on behalf of the veteran community. Good morning, Australia. My name is Sharon Bowne. I am an Australian veteran, I am a returned service nurse, and I am a descendant of the Anzacs. My great uncle. Above the eternal flame, you can see wreaths displayed on behalf of those honoured guests who traditionally attend and lay wreaths at our Anzac Day commemorations. While it's not possible for them to be present today, through this gesture, they continue to honour those who have given their lives. On this day, 105 years ago, Australians and New Zealanders fought side by side, landing in a place far from their homelands, a place that would become known as Anzac Cove. Though the Gallipoli campaign would end nine months later with the evacuation, those who survived would be joined by reinforcements to fight for another three years until the guns finally fell silent in 1918. Cloaking the walls of the cloisters around us are the bronze panels bearing the names of more than 102,800 servicemen and servicewomen who have made the ultimate sacrifice for us. Immersed in their spirit, we now pause as Mr. Don Spinks recites the ode. After the ode, the last post will be sounded, and we ask that you all join us in marking one minute's silence followed by the Ravelli. Catafalque party, attention! They shall grow not old, as we to the left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. Party present us.
lest we forget. Lest we forget. <laughs>